Hey, hey, geez, slow down. Your legs are too long. Ha, <laughs> hey, wait, don't you drive? Van's in the shop, broken tail light, bumper, window, hood, steering wheel. Reed, stop driving under the influence. Where's Trish? I think she had a project with Rosa. Ooh, abandoned. Left to walk with old armpits here. I'm absolutely heartbroken. Shattered. So you're serious about L and L? You're actually excited? I never took you for a fantasy dork. I'm not. But everybody's been hyping it up, and I know you're good at it. Gosh, shucks. You. I'm serious. Remember when you got me and Trish to believe Mr. Montoya was conducting spooky rituals in the school basement? Still not debunked. You had, like, this whole lore. A town-wide conspiracy. It was awesome. <laughs> well, if you liked that, you are going to love the campaign. Your character is basically like Spooky Montoya, but if he was hot and cool and had wings. Mr. Montoya does have wings. Well, whatever. I missed you, dude. Well, here's where we part ways. You're not taking the bus? I have mysterious places to be. Ominous. Plus, I think I see Sage and Stella coming over, and I'm hot off my last disastrous tarot reading slash cookie adventure. Also ominous. Enjoy. Have you seen Fang? Wait. Who is that? Do we know them? How dare you look so amazing in high school? That's nice. Hey, thanks. Thanks for noticing. My eyes are literally drawn to you like magnets. I cannot. Here, have a cookie. I made them this morning. Wow, I really need this right now. Aw, oh, there's a secret ingredient. It's lavender. Or is it? Is it? So you spent summer getting an awesome makeover. Cool. What else? Catch us up. What? What did her arm do? Well, Trish was at bug camp and Reed was off somewhere. So I mostly just like hung around and played music. Kind of lonely, but it was fun. And it got us an audition for Battle of the Bands. Um, what? Ow, my Hello? ears. Fame, thy name is Fang? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Auditions next week. Oh, that's amazing. Congrats. You guys are gonna kill it. I know it. The cards told her so. Oh my God, stop. What about you guys? What'd you do? Try not to melt, mostly. Dressing cute is hard when it's hot as hell. You're saying this to, like, our gothest friend. Exactly. Fang knows what it's like to suffer for the aesthetic. But yeah, I was mostly an indoor boy this summer to beat the heat. And I baked a ton, so I got really good at it. Somehow, I don't really get how baking helps you beat the heat. Like I'm saying... Ugh, you guys suck. Cookie privileges revoked. No, I take it back. Well, I spent the summer banking babysitting money and doing tarot for my mom's friends on their wine nights. <laughs> hey, want me to read your cards for you? Sure. Why is there only... Why do you give me an option if I don't have an option? Okay. Do yeah. you just want to remind me that this is a game? How do I... Um, how does it work? <laughs> okay, so like, I'm going to draw three cards from the tarot deck. There are a few different ways to do a reading, but for now, we're just going to stick with choosing one card. When you choose your card, have a specific question or idea in mind that you want an answer for. Maybe just a direction, or like a sign of where the energy's at for you right now. What, what should I focus on? Okay. Got it. Ready. Yay. Now pick a card. All right, don't give me- not the tower. The magician. Ooh, 
the magician. Exciting. Is that a goat? What does it mean? So, this card says that you've got an intense creative drive. The little magician guy on this card is in their workshop and they're utilizing all their resources to create the outcome they want. And that's me. Or it's supposed to be? You got it. You're magic, babe. Or at least, you have the opportunity to be. The magician appears as like an indication that you have the ability and resources to manifest your will. That's good, I guess. You just need the focus and the drive to make it all happen. So it's good. So it's good. It's good. If you're smart about it. You need a clear vision, basically. You have the window of opportunity, but you need to know how to use it. This card just means that the outcome is within your grasp. It's up to you to guarantee it. See, like that card sounds completely terrifying to me. But also, now you know what's gonna happen. It's not exactly about what's going to happen. It's just something to help you frame events or decisions in a new context. Yeah, okay, so Stella's a real G for explaining tarot like that. If anybody tells you that, like, it's what's gonna happen in the future, uh, that person is trying to steal your money. Like a subconscious thing. You project your own meaning onto these things. I don't know your life, and neither do the cards. Mm, I'm pretty sure she says this stuff so she doesn't get hunted down and tried for witchcraft. Oh my god, enough! She's a witch! A witch! I don't know, Sage is the one teleporting. Thanks for the insight, Stella. Well, I don't know if it was witchcraft or not, but it was cool. Thanks, Stella. Literally any time. <laughs> she means it, too. Be careful, she might give you a reading every day. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle that. Emotionally. Whoa, that looked weird. Oh, gotta go. Bye! See you in the future! Ah, uh, stop it, you! That's just how time works, Sage. Oh. Baba and I are gone to... Don't eat all the food at once. Irresponsible, no parties, one friend is fine. Fatme, don't stay up late. Nasser, keep up with your homework. Don't misbehave just because we are gone. Oh, it's Nasser. I've been pronouncing this dude's name wrong for like one and a half games. Call cousin Amal if you need something. And look after each other. My name is Fang, Mom. I tried turning it into a vector graphic so we can scale it up, but it looks bad, doesn't it? Why is there a purple line on your face? Nah, it looks fine. I think you might be a perfectionist. That was- never mind. Oops. The yearbook's gonna be great. I hope so. We need more pictures, though. Naomi knows that Fang is there. At the moment, it's mostly just Sage. And he's really cute, but this has to represent everyone. Okay. Slowly, quietly. Bullshit, you eat like that and you have that figure. It's weird, but I forgot you lived here. Nasser's just helping me with the student life pages layout. Nasser. Got it. Very cool. You can go now. Wait, wait, um, do you have any pictures of your band? Uh, what was it called? Right, we're in drama. Oops. <laughs> Does that mean anything? You know what? It doesn't matter. If you have anything, we can add it to the yearbook. 
Oh, and maybe someone can come take pictures of you at your show. You're playing a show? When? I had no idea. Don't jinx it. Nice try. You see me practicing. You're the one always complaining about how much I practice. This is why. Oh, and then you can use the money for your tour van, like you said? Your tour van? That's not what I said. I said EP. You can't go on tour if you don't have any songs, Fang. Wait, how much money are we talking about? I guess I have to explain now. I'm going on tour with Trish and Reed in the summer with my graduation money. It's not a big deal. It's a super big deal. Pretty sure mom and dad aren't going to let you spend that money on a band. Imagine being privileged enough to have graduation money. What must that what must that be like? They don't know yet. And it's my plan, isn't it? It just sounds expensive. How would you even uh, I think it sounds cool. You get to see so many new places. Exactly. I bet it's gonna be really amazing. Oh, would you play something for me? Um, for us? Um, right now? Yeah. You know what? I could use a break. Do you need to go get your guitar? No, I could just play the piano, but I've, I've got all these snacks to eat. Oh, you need some help with those? Doop, doop, doop. This motherfucker said doop, doop, doop. I don't know much about music besides what I hear on the radio. Me too. What is music? I can't... What? He teleported into frame. I was going to practice anyway. All right. It's your lucky day. I knew it. What's it called? It doesn't have a name yet. Maybe. Annoying people in the living room. I need to get out of this room. It's untitled. It's called Untitled Number Seven. Huh. Cool. You're not the only person in the world, Fang. It's just something I'm working on. Here goes. Christ. When you walked in here so carelessly and said, You know, you're special, and said, I know you're good. What about? Note to self, don't change facial expressions mid-song. It screws with the UI. Yeah, that... That's not good. Wow. That doesn't sound like something you wrote. 
Um, thanks? No, I mean, it sounded really good. It's... I just meant that it's also kind of really sad. Oh. I mean, I'm just experimenting. I thought it was beautiful. So did I. It's nice to hear something that isn't about falling in love for once. True. You never really write about that, do you? I love that one about the moldy pudding. What was it? Puke Factory? Everyone loves Puke Factory. Ah, mm. See? You got the touch. Maybe they're right. Yeah. I'll keep working on it. You'll make the show for sure. Yeah. Maybe we will. Looks like you've got lots of work to do. So let me just let you do it. Wait, before you go, can I send this to mom and dad? I think they'd love to see it. Do I get to choose this or nah? They ask me about you, like, all the time. You took a video? Not cool. But can you send it to me? Sure. But what do you think? Could help mom and dad get behind your whole tour idea. He's got a point. He's got a point. You know what? Sure. Send it. Why not? But thanks for thinking of that. Of course. I just unlocked a photo. Oh, right. I've, there's an entire social media thing on ISM 99 style that I should have been paying attention to. Not a bad pick, actually. Very singer-songwriter. <laughs> Not a bad pick. You look like a compass. Okay. Yeah, this is the social media that I should be paying attention to. Mountain Drew. Thank God I'm a senior. Only one year left of this shit. Bobby, at Bobbing Around. At Mountain Drew. Bold of you to assume you're gonna pass all your classes, lol. Mountain Drew at Bobbing Around. Fuck off. Nah, dia. God, my tail went numb and now I can't tell if I'm walking weird. Gina. Do you think my slug will notice if I legally change his name to Stinky? He's earned it. Isa. Isa, don't. Is anyone else weirded out by mammals? <laughs> Okay, okay, that's worth the price of admission. <laughs> Phoebe. Okay, I just found out dinosaur means terrible lizard. How am I supposed to feel about this? Floor, at Divine Flora. Why is it always people without horns who say shit like this? New Year? At Nessa, at Loch Nessa. New year, new me. I'm taking this school year by the horns. Wait, is the Loch Ness monster a thing in this world? How? Volcano High School. Welcome back. Razor Wings. Get ready for another great year. Drew. Why do people keep telling me that getting a giant fuck off wing tattoo that I could open at people would be a gimmick I'd never actually use. Have they met people? Have they met me? I mean, I feel like it would limit your job opportunities. Such a sap. Bye, Nasser. Bye, Naomi. See you, Fang. Sorry, was I really awkward? I just thought it was good. Yeah, no. They're really good. Oh! Uh, don't forget to send me pictures! Could be cool, actually. Will do! <coughs> Mango. This is the new food we got her today. She loves it. Nom nom nom. Who's we? 
I thought we dumped Mr. Sad Jeans last year. LOL. I did. And it was me and Rosa, okay? OMG. Winky face. What is she eating? It's sick. Have to agree. Very sick. Aw, I think she's cute. Thanks, me too, star eyes. It's a special type of fern. It's like their favorite food ever. So, best slash worst part of the first day? Lunch, always. Okay, I'm reading that velvet worms are known for their curious mating behavior. Need details, please? Perv. Dude, yes. Give my girl Mango some privacy. She could be into whatever she wants. Mango sex positive. <laughs> You've got to hear Rosa talk about it. Hang on. Rosa has been added to the group chat. It's Rosa, everyone. Just in time. OMG, hi. Yay. Heart, sparkle, heart. Rosa. Yes. Hi, hi. We have a lot of questions for you. Don't scare her away already, Sage. Hey, Rosa. Be cool, Fang. Hey, Rosa. Cool to see you here. Is that weird? Fang! Sorry, guys. I gotta work on some songs. Talk to you later. Message failed to send. Again? Hey, are your phones being weird right now? Yup. It's the electromagnetism again. I think... Not totally sure, but what else could it be? A fucking meteor? Aliens? Martians? I guess so, actually. Okay, well, um, I'm going home. <laughs> My parents are probably freaking out about whatever's happening. They should be. See you in school tomorrow. Bye. See? Come on in. Snoot Game definitely had it easier with the character designs because they didn't have to design the characters to be viewed from, like, 360 degrees. Hey, I'm gonna make dinner. Mom left a bunch of stuff in the freezer. Is it pizza? Definitely zero chance it's unhealthy in any way. Be right there. What are you making? Dino Nuggies. Tub labeled Monday dinner. I thought about Tuesday dinner or even Thursday dinner. But I'm not sure we're ready to embrace that level of anarchy. <laughs> it's like they think we're idiots. Wait, mom went overboard on instructions? Never. Hey, you're not the one getting Five texts from mom today. Five. Yikes. There should be a way to cut off parents after they reach a certain number of texts per day. She does it to you too? Actually, no. Their mom left instant noodles in the freezer? What the fuck? They've both kind of ignored me all week since they left. It's weird. It feels strange. Kind of like I'm forgetting my keys, but they're just in my pocket the whole time. Yep, half the text she sends me are for you anyway. Tell your sister, make sure Fatima does her chores. No, I mean, she's trying. Sometimes she calls you Fang. Does she? Yeah, let me find it. Not found. 404. Well, I know she has. She's doing her best. We have spices, right? Oh, yes. Brilliant. <clears throat> it needs... It needs a spice. Pepper. Pepper never hurts. Shaking it up a little, huh? And a sauce. Fish sauce. Fish sauce? 
Yeah, it's ramen. Are you sure you want to risk it? That might make it taste a little fishy. Ugh. Here, let me taste. Oof, more sauce. Stat. Better? Uh, I mean, it's probably as good as it'll get. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Anyway, I can't give you a ride to school tomorrow either. Unless you want to get up early. I have presidential duties to attend to. Assembly prep. Exciting. Oh, also, I sent mom and dad the video. They liked it a lot. Really? What'd they say? Well, it was mom, but she said, my brilliant and talented children. <laughs> and one of those free emojis of her sending a kiss. <laughs> kind of wish I hadn't shown her how to do that. <laughs> I'm overwhelmed by praise. For you? Well, it's par for the course for me. No, seriously, I thought it was nice, right? Well, whenever I talk about music stuff, they both just kind of shut down. Or say something like, Oh, we're so glad you have meaningful hobbies. Or my favorite is when they're like, Wow, I have no idea how you do that. We're just... We're not creative at all. Like, thank you. I mean, they're not though. Like, at all. Have you seen dad try to play Pictosaurus? It's like a psychological experiment. Fascinating. I think they're trying. Like the kind of chill piano music you played is perfect for them to try and understand you. You're just kind of different from them, you know? I wonder if we're, <clears throat> I wonder if we're going to find out what happened to Nasser's wing in this story. I wonder if we're going to find out what happened to Nasser's wing in this story. Trust me, that is not something I'm ever able to forget in this house. Not what I meant. It's not like I love how they are with me all the time, either. Whatever. Thanks for dinner. Tell Mom I'm studying math and wearing a pink dress. You just took all the instant noodles? Scientists announced today the discovery of a previously unobserved asteroid, estimated to be roughly 10 kilometers in diameter. Designated CO103, the object shows a rather high possibility of entering the solar system and a non-insignificant chance of collision with the planet. Astronomers were quick to add that very little is known <laughs> about the orbit and speed of the asteroid <sighs> in these early stages. And trajectory predictions are very likely to change as more data is collected. That's right, Mary. Though we know very little, scientists say the asteroid's electromagnetic atmosphere may cause some minor interference with electronics. Huh, it was electromagnetism. Right back after this commercial electromagnetism. Huh, oh, weird word. <laughs> Yo, Naomi was right. Anyway, anyway, asteroid takes us all out. Best way to go, IMO. Yeah, no thanks. Sounds pretty metal. Come at me, Meteor. Sounds pretty metal. Rip Pangea. But business is gonna pick up. Bet business is gonna pick up, though. Wow, I love living in a historically insignificant time period. <laughs> that was fast. Shit. <clears throat> oh no. Is that the meteor? Cut to Alex Eagleston's face. Five five six eight two one. 
Hey, Fang, I have to tell you something. I like you, like, a lot. I know this is weird because you don't know who I am. I just needed to get it out. How does this person have phone service when no one else does? Uh, what? Text back. Do we go to school together? I wonder who it is. Like, that's at least a kind of interesting mystery, I guess. Was that the meteor? Maybe just a coincidence. Grimacing, crying. Coincidence, definitely. Meteor, scary. Calm down, weirdo. Meteor? IDK. Seems related. Ghost. Um, question. I got a text from someone saying they're in love with me, and they're telling me now because we might all die soon or whatever, so... Which one of you was it? Anyone else get this? What should I do? What should I do? What do I say back? What? This is so exciting. Also, why didn't I get any love texts? We love you, Sage. If you turn off caps. OMG Fang, I bet it's real. The energy is wild right now. Who is it? It's just a random phone number. And they won't say. Woo! Secret admirer. Now that's some exciting asteroid content. Wait. Is it a meteor or an asteroid? I need to know what to call the thing that's about to destroy the entire planet, thanks. Oh, good question. Let me look it up. Whoa. There's already a meme page. Asteroid image gallery. People are awful. People are weird. People are the best. People are weird. Sometimes I don't understand this world. Shrug. Okay, well, see you at practice tomorrow? At least we know that's still happening. Okay, it's an asteroid. Not a meteor. So now we know. Brain. Peach butt sparkle. What's the internet say? Um, before the meteor hits and we all die, anyone want to admit they have a crush on me? Wait, this isn't what caused- Wait, isn't this what caused the first mass extinction? Everyone needs to chill. It's not a guarantee. I just read five articles about celestial bodies and I think my brain is melting. Cool, cool, cool. Incineration. Cool. What the fuck? This thing better not hit. I can't die a virgin. There's gotta be someone out there. My parents can no longer tell me they had it worse than me. Sure, they had a recession, but I have the literal apocalypse. Not to be alarmist, but if multiple new orgs are agreeing that this might happen, then it's definitely going to happen. LMFAO. Media existential meme. I have a cousin who works in an aerospace company, and they're saying the chances are a lot higher. I should just- you should go to bed, you have school tomorrow. Nay, sir. Hey, you, um, you hear the news? About the apocalypse? Oh, cool. That's like a Godzilla poster, I think. Make him feel better. Yeah, people are freaking out. But no one really knows anything yet. It's probably nothing. Tell that to Naomi. She's been texting me asteroid facts, and they are high-octane nightmare fuel. Sounds like Naomi. You know every fact she sends me has been cross-checked with at least three verified sources. Kind of hard to dismiss. Hit me with some verified terror. Well, okay. For a start, this is the biggest object to get this far into the solar system in... in... Ever. Yikes. Good thing it's not gonna hit us, then. 
Yeah. Seriously? It's not. This is why Jupiter is so important, because 9 out of 10 times, Jupiter will prevent this from happening by having a bigger gravitational pull than us. There's already memes about it, and that means it'll be over in, like, a month. Yeah? Yeah, no, you're right. <clears throat> Thanks. Trust me. You staying up? No. Gonna head to bed. Okay. Okay. Me too. Good night. Night. Whoa, that was weird. The scene transitions seem a little bit weird sometimes. Really, you're going to sleep in all of that? Bullshit, you sleep in a spiked headband. Just gotta make it to the summer tour. And communities all across the continent reacted to the news of a previously unknown space object this morning. Turn off the radio or turn up the radio. Turn it off. Man, enough about the asteroid. Yeah, that's a good call. I might be obsessing. When did you start listening to Pangea this morning? I thought the goal is to not turn into dead. Uh, I have my own reasons to stay informed. And Dad could never pull off this outfit that I'm totally crushing. You look like a purse. Did it freeze? The okay. Silence is nice. We don't need to fill it. Definitely not. He's got something to say. Except you have something to say. No. No. Well, hey, hey, could I run something by you? Fine. So, today, big day, class president's speech at the assembly. In light of the whole space rock potential demise of civilization thing, my chosen theme feels off. What's the theme? Using this year to, um make an impact okay wow <laughs> that's gotta go yeah that's that's bad I use it 542 times in a 1,000 word speech <laughs> no that e every other word would have to be impact for that to be the case I even had a section where I rhymed every sentence with impact that's the worst speech ever You're describing a poem. We have to act. Let's make this pact. Our goals can become fact. Please stop. It was a bit. No, I have to change it. Yeah, it's just too weird. Can I run some ideas by you? Please help me. Pep talk time. You're gonna be fine. I mean, no one even listens to those speeches anyway. I don't think that's a good pep talk. Seriously, please. You're so comfortable on stage, and I don't know how you do it. And I want to be that way. Okay, here's what I'd suggest. You've got to... Be relatable. Let people in a bit. What if you just told the truth? How are you feeling about all of this? It's not about me, though. I'm supposed to speak for the student body. And you're better at doing that than you think. But... Let's say people. <laughs> Sienna at Sientian. 
I think maybe having constant unfiltered access to the opinions of people we don't know may have been a mistake. Banjo Boy at Jurassic. Meteor D's nuts. Dimitri at Dimasaur X. Which one of y'all manifested this? I just want to talk. Kailani, are you fucking kidding me? Kim, I was looking for a chemistry tutor, but I guess never mind. Phoebe, LMAO, I love how everybody is just like, oh, by the way, this is happening, have a good one. Tiny Ant Hope, wow, thanks to all the friends who've made this difficult summer more tolerable for me. Now to check the news. What if when the meteor gets here, everybody jumps at the same time? <laughs> I'm sick of living through historic events. No more things need to happen forever. Pack it up, gang. Stream Svamp BBs. Hey guys, sorry for vanishing. I broke my leg while rock climbing, then my dad got diagnosed with cancer, and the weed store I worked at got busted for being a money laundering scheme, leaving me without work. Also, a big rock fell on my house, but I'm back now, and I can't wait to bring you guys the latest Swamp Baby news. Girl, what? Girl, huh? Took a long break from streaming, but I'm back. We'll be streaming Destroy Legends. Come in and chill. FitchTV.Bubasaur. Dot Bubasaur. <laughs> Thank God I'm a senior. Only one year left of this shit. Oh. <laughs> Naser's jokes. Naser. Hey, Fang. What? I'm a little worried about the calendar. Its days are numbered. Ugh. Does it smell like updino in here to you? Shut up. You know, if we were twins, hello? We'd be paradactyls. Please stop. Hey, Fang. No. <laughs> That's pretty cute, actually. People are feeling as confused as you are. Coming in as if you know everything would be the worst thing you could do. Thank you. You mean on time? Oh, well, good luck today. <laughs> yeah, assembly. I can't remember the last time I actually went to that. See, it'll be a fun new thing for you. Plus, You'll get all the hot intel on Senior Picture Day. Woohoo! 